Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Just wanted to do a video on how to actually find exactly the right person to contact when doing business development. So a lot of the times if you're sending emails or you're calling, it's kind of guesswork. So you might find a particular person in HR and you contact them or you email them and you don't hear back for whatever reason it possibly could be that they're the wrong person. Now, I've worked in companies where I've got emails about the wrong information, sales emails, and the company probably put me down as not interested. So it's about finding the right person. So in this method, I'm gonna show you what to search, X-ray searching, to actually find the right person in, that, in a particular company or sector that deals with recruitment. This is the decision maker, how to find them. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to show you broadly and I'm going to show you a very specific method. Um, so what I'll type in here is HR and I'm going to put keyword in here PSL and I'll select London. That's all you need to put for now and we're going to show results. Now this method brought up 6,000 results. That's a lot of companies or a lot of profiles. What this can pick up is if a company's name like Powder Systems Limited is called, they put PSL in brackets so it's picked up that um, as well. You can obviously search without HR because you're going to search internal recruiter, you're going to search talent acquisition, all those sorts of settings. So we're going to just briefly look before looking in profiles. This company is called PSL Group. This this hasn't shown up anything or PSL Administrator. Um, and that's giving you the name of the actual person probably. Um, let's have a look if we picked up any good ones here. So this could particularly be a good one so it's picked up renew review re reconstruct and negotiate of the PSL so this person let's have a look and we'll see what they do as a business and what I want to do is con search control F just to be sure and she's obviously taking off her profile I believe or it's here PSL nope it's not but obviously she had it on her profile previously when it got indexed by Google so what she does is obviously she's very experienced um, actually very good experience and for, for some you know very well-known companies as well so what she does is she manages the PSL every year so it's particularly well I'm not saying connect with these people message them and they're going to put you on the PSL this is who to get through to it's another way of lead sourcing and the building up relationship if you connect with them and you show that look you're posting jobs on your LinkedIn that is you know particularly in her sort of sector or you'll be searching for you know you ended up adding a hundred people that are in your sector and you might not even approach them you might just you know comment on their posts that they make look they know they see on their feed that you're always posting jobs in that sector um, you know it's very easy to connect you don't say hi how are you I wonder if I can get in your PSL afterwards after a few weeks you can say look I noticed you're recruiting for this position I hope you don't mind me saying but this is my chosen subject this is what I recruit for my bread and butter would you be able to engage with me on you know discussing a partnership and yeah take it from there so potentially you could connect with these people join them you know and move on from there so there's a lot lot to go through in here it take a lot of time to sift through so when you're including you might want to include a sector so you might want to put oil and gas for example I don't know what's going to come up I don't think HR people. So there are a fair fair bit of there. I think there's a big company called Bloody PSL um, as well. So have a look at this. Um, this is another one that's, you know, putting down as their expertise, PSL management, obviously the HR and recruitment director. So they'll be in charge of it, their decision maker from there. Now, another way you can obviously search internal recruiter. I search HR mainly um, because internal recruiters usually have a director above them that will deal with a PSL so we can look up I haven't looked for months let's see if it yields any results so there's 500 so as I imagined um, there's not a lot there um, so tender in for new look PSL that's perfect PSL and working with clients yeah that could have been from an old position um, as well so this picks up quite a few bits um, from there now Alternatively, if you've got time and you're just willing to willing to look through, you can just search PSL as well. And there's a hell of a lot of results. So you might want to just add to these strings, add PSL and your sector or job title or whatever location you're in. Um, another thing you can put in, which will really narrow it down, is manage PSL. 
and that yielded up 32 results. So this is very specific. Look, I managed a PSL or you know engage with PSL. Those sorts of things you can put in. Um, if you're imaginative, you can obviously think of a few different things to put in here. But in terms of this method, you know you're going to pick up. You're going to have to sift through, but you're going to pick up a lot of people that are blatantly advertising. Look, I managed a PSL. I'm the person to talk to. Drop them an email. Connect with them. Whatever you have to do. Now. I haven't really particularly, I don't think I've shown this method before, but it does work well, it can work well, and it's another tool in your arsenal. If you go for an interview, and you're going for an interview for a job, you can say, you know, if they say to you, look, how do you manage your PSL? If you tell them you do this method, I guarantee they wouldn't know about it. So if you're a first timer and you're a trainee recruiter, and you say, look, I understand, you know, I've been doing my research, I've looked at a number of videos and resources, and understand that X-ray searching PSL on LinkedIn has found me, you know, X, Y, X amount of contacts in your sector. Um, does anyone do that here? And they'll be like, uh, sometimes, or no, we haven't. Can you tell us more? And then you can just elaborate from there. So even if you don't use this, mention you do, and it will work in your favor. So hope this video helped as usual. Any questions, please let me know. Take care.